Om Shanti to everyone. My name is Antonella from Italy, Bologna, a um, city, middle aged city in the, in, in the middle of the country. There are few special days during the year that people remember by heart. Of course, one is Christmas, at least in this part of the world, and the other is the Three Kings Day or Epiphany, the 6th of January. Mentioned only by Matthew's Gospel, they were called the Magi, or kings arrived from distant kingdoms, or maybe expert astrologers who had follow a comet. No one really knows who they were or where they exactly came from. And their number is also a mystery, three or twelve, who knows? But what we are going to explore today is the symbols of their gifts. They brought three gifts, and that's why they're probably considered three magis. The gifts were gold, frankincense and myrrh. At that time, those three gifts had a great value especially in religious practices and religious purposes. Temples at that time were full of gold and gold represent the symbol of wealth, but also we say a golden heart. When I give my heart and I share from the heart, then wealth and abundance are bound to come back. And the incense, the frankincense, symbolizes the fragrance of the qualities that the soul rediscovers within itself after a journey of introversion. The fragrance of peace, simplicity, love, also needed today more than ever. And the third gift was the myrrh, a resin anointment for burial ceremonies used for religious purposes, represent letting go of what is old, letting go of the past and be ready for something new. And there is a little story in a class after the Christmas holidays, the teacher gave a theme to the students and the topic was the three magi and the symbols of their gifts. After a week, the topic were delivered and there were all incredible, meaningful answers and interpretation. The professor, after having congratulated the students for the wonderful ideas, he looked at one student specifically because he handed over the notebook with uh, nothing written on it. He wrote nothing. So the professor asked him why. And the boy simply replied that in his opinion, none of the three gifts were important. He said, Professor, in my opinion, the greatest gift that the three Magi gave to Jesus was their presence. So, do you think God will be more pleased with any gift you offer to him or with your presence? And I think this is the best. Um, feeling that we can share in those holidays and for the new year. So all have a great Christmas and wonderful holidays and lots of greetings from this side of the world, from Italy. Om Shanti.